Hello, my name is the Reverend Sue Coleman. I am the High Sheriff of Hampshire. I wonder if you have ever seen anyone walking about the streets in an outfit such as I am wearing on Halloween night, maybe? And indeed, I wonder what picture the word sheriff conjures up for you. Perhaps simply this badge, which you'll have seen if you've watched American Western films, where you'll see lots of sheriffs swaggering about with loaded pistols, swinging through saloon doors, chasing outlaws across cactus-ridden deserts, or the sheriff as the baddie in Tales of Robin Hood, like this Disney film. The sheriff spot his badge there, who put such high demands on the local people that they starved, with all their money, animals and harvest, going to the sheriff and to his powerful and rich friends. And then with Robin Hood, the hero, stealing the money back and giving it to the poor. And I wonder how many of you had any idea sheriffs still existed and that they wore rather unusual and unique uniforms such as I'm wearing today. Ostrich feather in my hat. Ruffles on my wrist and my neck, buckles on my shoes. Or in fact, only since 1967, sheriffs could be women. There's a long history associated with the role of sheriff in England. In fact, apart from the monarchy, the kings and queens of England, it is the oldest role in the country. Over 1,300 years ago, in the 7th century, the country was divided into shires, rather like the counties we have now. You can hear the remnant of the word shire in our county's names. Hampshire, Wiltshire, Yorkshire, etc. You may recognise it too from where hobbits live in the Lord of the Rings. Back in those days, the king appointed people called reeves, who looked after the shires for the king. These reeves took taxes, which were paid to the king. They looked after the king's land, and the more senior ones were also responsible for law and order, even to carrying out punishments, which in those days included beheadings and hangings. I am very thankful I do not have to do that. And can you hear how the name Sheriff came about, the Shire's Reeve, from the Old English, Skirgerifa, to Shire Reeve, to Sheriff, with the more senior ones responsible for law and order, called, like me, the High Sheriff. You can hear too the changes in the very name of Hampshire. First of all, Hamptonskir, then, as recorded in the Doomsday Book in 1086, as Hunterskir, and finally what we have today, Hampshire. Gradually, over the 1300 years that the role has existed, not only words have changed, the expectations of what the sheriff does has changed. After 1066 and all the tumultuous changes, as William the Conqueror was crowned King of England, the role of High Sheriff became more focused on the justice system. Sitting in the local shire courts and supporting the judges who travelled in the courts, making sure they were safe and comfortable. However, they also had a lot of power. They could set up their own courts of justice, but also... I wonder if you've ever heard the phrase, it's rather old fashioned, raise a hue and cry, meaning make a loud noise. Well, sheriffs could literally raise a hue and cry. They could call out for forces of men to race across the countryside to pursue and capture villains. This poor boy has stolen a sheep. They could also raise a posse, a language that we're more likely to hear nowadays on American Western films. They had the power to gather a posse, a group of people, to defend the nation against invaders. So there was a military role for sheriffs also. But King Henry VIII, crowned in 1509 by Archbishop Warham, who lived in Hampshire, in the very house I live in now, this is his portrait behind me, decided that the high sheriffs had far too much power. So he decided to pass over all their military duties to a new role, the Lord Lieutenant, and leave the sheriffs responsible simply for local law and order. Having said that, in the short reign of Queen Mary Tudor, sheriffs had a new role added. They were charged with the burning of heretics, a gruesome responsibility which they tried to avoid. Other unpleasant tasks remained the duty of the sheriff over the centuries. 
until the death sentence was finally abolished in 1965, sheriffs would still oversee executions. But the role has changed hugely over the centuries. And perhaps most significantly, it has changed from being a role with real power, authority and particular responsibilities, and with a way to raise lots of money as a wage. That has all gone. Instead, it has become a ceremonial role, which it is an honour and a privilege to be invited to do in a purely voluntary capacity. No power, but much responsibility and some influence. The focus of the role for this one year of office is still about justice and law and order. But I have no power to send people to prison or to raise a hue and cry and run after them and arrest them. But I do have a responsibility to support all those who maintain justice in any way in our county. This includes our police, the probation services, our prisons, emergency service and magistrates court but also in particular to make sure all the judges who sit in our county courts are supported and well looked after. I'm also responsible to the Queen who appointed me and to make welcome assisting the Lord Lieutenant, any member of the Royal Family who visits Hampshire. High sheriffs can choose to focus on an area of justice we're particularly interested in. I was adopted when I was very little and I grew up in an adoptive family and because of that experience I have a particular concern for children and young people who are looked after by the local authority. I care that many of the men and women in our prisons were also looked after and that their challenging circumstances didn't give them the very best start in life such that offending and re-offending becomes part of their life story. But I also celebrate the fact that there are so many people who were children in care who do such amazing things with their lives. Steve Jobs, co-founder of Apple, the actor Eddie Murphy and Simone Biles, gold medal winner for gymnastics. I get the honour as High Sheriff to use a particular badge. The design is of two cross swords on a blue background. The swords are different. One tip is sharp for judgment and justice, but the other is blunt for mercy. This is an illustration that any justice should be tempered with compassion. I warm to this, justice and compassion. You may have noticed that along with this grand outfit, I am also wearing a clerical collar. Indeed, that I introduced myself as the Reverend Sue Coleman. I am, I think, the just fourth woman priest to be a High Sheriff and the first ever in Hampshire. And these themes of justice and compassion fit perfectly what I'm called to be as an ordained person. Also, as I represent the Church of England as well as the Queen. It's perhaps worth thinking about that every role we see, whether a King or a Queen, a Prime Minister or a President, a teacher, a social worker, a priest, whoever it is, they are also behind the sometimes strange uniform, the crown, the suit. There's a person like me and like you.